In this class today, I'll be teaching how to process and optimise your models for the Geospace workshop. Now, we are currently in a 3D Blender scene. Blender is a professional 3D modelling software. We'll have a link below and we will also be featuring the Geospace Blender template. Now, this is a version of Blender that has had some of the more complex features stripped back so that you just have the tools that you'll need available to you. Now, we're currently in the blend scene. In order to move around the scene, I can press down on the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel, and that just lets me rotate in the scene. I can also pan in the scene by pressing shift while pressing down that middle mouse button again. And I can also zoom in and zoom out using the scroll wheel. So to start off with, I'm going to bring my model into the scene. So we have our model in the scene. And if I zoom in, you can see that we also have this control in the middle. So what this is, is a control gizmo that allows us to make rotational movement and scale changes to our model. If I go up to the top left hand corner, I have the ability to select individually the move, rotate and scale tools, or I can keep on the transform tool which has all of those available at once. We also have some selecting options. I'm going to press and hold. Now, I always recommend that you choose the select box. This allows you to click on individual models to select them and move them around the scene, but it also lets you click outside the scene and draw a box around your object. And that makes selecting everything a lot more simple. Now, in our scene, we have these guidelines. You'll see that they're very similar to the ones we have in the Jigspace app. They are also a similar size, and this is just a great way for you to identify how big your model is in comparison to the Jig workshop. Now, currently, the model is on its side. This is often the case when you bring in a model from CAD software that was initially designed to print it. So I want this to be standing up and I also want it to be positioned above the ground. As you can see with the guidelines, it's currently sunk inside that floor. So in order for the lighting to look correct in the Jigspace workshop, we like all of our models to be loaded above this floor line. So with my model selected, I'm going to go to the right hand side and I'm going to rotate my model. Here I can select my axis. In this case, I do want to use the X axis and I'll be rotating at 90 degrees. For further reference, the color red represents the X axis, the green represents Y and the blue is the Z axis. Now in this case, I'm going to rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. So now it's standing up straight. The next thing I want to do is use our place above the ground tool and this will lift our model and position it directly above that central point. Now I'm also aware that the direction we'll be looking at our model in the Jig workshop is facing this way, but there are some details on the other side that I'd like to view. So in this case, I'm going to rotate my model along the Z axis and I'll be rotating that 180 degrees. So we've got our model facing the correct way. Another feature that I'd like to show is our scale tool. For example, I'll set this to 0.5. That will half its original size. Often when you bring components into the Jig Space Workshop and into Blender, you'll find that your models are too small or too big for your scene. 
So using this scale tool is a useful way of getting your models to the correct scale you're after. Now in this case, I want to double it from its current scale and that will get me back to my original scale. 